Good day everyone, Cappy here, 410 Expedition. Thanks for joining in today. Today we're installing the 22 inch bright source LED light bar and the cube spotlights on the JK. So stay tuned. The first thing we have to do is we have to remove the front grill here to get access to a bar that's inside here. So let's take the grill off. Don't forget to disconnect your um, your turning signal lights. So what I have here is the Bright Source kit number two one two zero zero seven that mounts from a ten inch to a twenty inch. LED bar so it's a kit to mount and then the cube lights are model number 75001 they are a street legal cube light kit uh, there's two lamps they're 20 watt spot and includes the harness and the mounting brackets for them as well okay so you're gonna take your big brackets here uh, you have to make sure that they want you to put some cardboard here because when you go to put your locking bolts underneath here they won't fall down so put a piece of cardboard here. The intent is to put this here like this and you have your other mounting plate, the little one, that will go behind this bar and secure everything down nice and tight. Before you tighten everything down, you gotta make sure you get your measuring tape and go to the measurements that you need to mount either the 10 inch bar or the 22 inch bar uh, respectfully. Now, Bright Source or whoever packaged uh, the bag of bolts shorted me two of these carriage bolts. I need three per bracket. I only had two per bracket. So I had to find another set of uh, carriage bolts. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the measurements uh, from the instructions and take the light bar out and make sure I'm gonna get the right position. I do have a lot of play here. I've got about an inch and a half uh, of play here to move this back and forth for fine tuning. So let's get that measurement now. So the instructions are telling you that there's these slots right here and they want you to put the end of this bracket quarter of an inch from that slot. So we're gonna measure in a quarter of an inch Right about there. And right about there. Now let's tighten these down. So now you have the second brackets here that are going to mount the actual light bar onto it. So this is where this will go on in place like this. And then this is where you're gonna have to find that fine tune adjustment between the, uh, the, the 10 inch or the 22 inch. Now on the 10 inch install, they want you to reverse the brackets so they'd be on the inside position here, going inwards, actually going inwards like this. So this would be shortening it up this way. And we're doing the other direction, the 22 inch bar, as you can understand, we're, that's what we're doing here. So 
So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to mount the light bar mount onto the brackets here before I continue on because this needs to be exactly 22 inches in between. So I've got a lot of adjustment to do here still. So I'm going to mount these on first and then I'll spread everything out where they need to be. Everything's going to be straight and perfect. Then I'll tighten everything down afterwards. Okay, so you're going to have uh, three different types of uh, bolts here with the Allen key. You're gonna take your skinniest one you've got in order to mount your light bar bracket, uh, holder or your bracket onto the kit. They didn't supply any washers, so get yourself a couple of washers. You're gonna need them because this uh, nut here is too small and it's gonna fall right through, so. Now again, leave everything loose for now because you might need to do some fine tuning a little later. So what I've just figured out is that these brackets, when you slide them all the way out, I'm still too short on the 22 inches I need to mount this on the bracket. So I'm gonna tighten everything down here. Now I'm gonna have to finally adjust these out a little bit more because I'm out by about a half an inch. So there's that quarter inch again. Uh, that I need to move these out a bit more. Actual measurement is 22 and an eighth. So now that I've got my position, I'm gonna retighten the main bracket system onto this bar here, and then we put the bar on. So you're gonna take the short uh, bolt here which is going to go and support your light bar to your bracket. And there you have it. We got ourselves the Bright Source 22 inch LED light bar installed. Next up is the wiring to the front. One switch will be for this guy and the other switch will be for the spotlights that I'm gonna mount on the uh, by the windshield. So this does come with a wiring harness. Uh, I didn't know this, but it already comes with the switch, the on off switch. Pretty cool. I went and bought uh, two of these similar switches at uh, four wheel parts and they were $14.99 a switch. I have an extra one now uh, maybe the other lamps come with a switch. Pretty cool. Thanks, Bright Source. One of the things I got to do now is figure out uh, where I'm going to run this switch to. I have the location picked out inside the Jeep. I just have to get it inside the cab. Now, typically, you want to go through the firewall, so this P these will be able to come out, which is going to be easier. I will drill a hole into these uh, areas that I, I'd like to uh, put it in and snap it in and it'll be done. So got to think this through before I continue on make sure that I'm uh, going to put it in the right location and that my accessibility is easy enough to get it done. So what I've decided to do is, is to run the switches through this under panel here which comes in through here which is coming out over here and the intent is to have the two switches right here on off now because i've got the 22 inch light bar in the front and then i'll have the two spotlights on the sides i have to run the the ground here uh, both of them together somewhere so i gotta find a, a point where i can bolt it in i've got a hole right here which allows me to put a, a nut and bolt through here long enough to attach both of these. Uh, we still have lots of freedom in here uh, to put these two things in here. So let's find ourselves some bolts. The light bar is a 22 inch E-code high performance LED light bar. It's powered by 40 by three watt Cree LEDs. It is street legal driving pattern and the color temperature is 5,000 Kelvins. Just had to make sure that, you know, everything's working before I 
close everything up. And now to get the cube lights installed on this one uh, nut here. Now eventually I will get some brackets installed here, but I figure, you know what, it's easy enough to just put the bracket here anyway. And I love the direction that they point out at an angle a little bit to you know grab that trail on the sides and stuff. So we'll see how it goes. We'll try one first and then um, either I like it or not, I'll decide from there. But at least the wiring is all pre-done and ready to go. So. So one of the things that you're gonna to have to do is either find a, a rubber gasket. Uh, in this case, I had some extra rubber here, so I've made it, so I've made a nice ring that will seal inside that spot there. Uh, you need to seal that up as good as you can. Right on, that's gonna look really good right there. Now what I'll do is I will tighten down. So that's a nice clean install. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pass this wire. You have to loosen these two here to lift the panel up and just pass that wire underneath here. It'd be a nice, clean, uh, tight look. Do the other side and we got everything wired in. Then we gotta do the switches on the inside. Okay, so everything's wired up now. This ended up being a really nice, clean install. So let me show you the front LED bar first. The wire is running in nice and snug underneath. It's coming in through here. All the excess wires all zip tied together. I've got the grounds, the fuses are all here and everything is running out on the other side. And then you've got my little cube lights are installed now. Nice and tight little install. I really like that look. I don't think I'm gonna have to bother getting brackets. So now the next step is is to run these two switches up into the panel right here. So I gotta remove this to get this to snap out. Drill a couple of uh, holes that will match the diameter of the of these. And then that's it, it's done. Super happy. So that concludes the install of the Bright Source 22 inch light bar and the two cube lights at the top. It was a, it's a nice install. I'm very happy with, uh, with this kit. I like the harnesses all included. The plug is, the, uh, the on off switch is included. Everything's included. So thank you very much. I want to make a big shout out to uh, Bright Source. Please visit their website at www brightsource.ca and check out all of the lighting options they have for your type of vehicle and please remember to subscribe and please like this video and we'll see you on the next one